Welcome back to Satisfactory. Now that we have gotten the uh, heat sinks into uh, production, I've uh, set up the uh, three final chains that we need to uh, get done. However, before we start doing that, there is something that I would like to show you guys just briefly out at the refinery. So, let's set out there. Not taking the car. Although the car would have been faster, but I think I just left the car at the location. I left it in the last episode. I don't know if I've used it since then. So I decided that being without uh, enough rubber in the uh, production chain was uh, not something that I consider optimal, especially not when all of these things that require rubber are going to be working at the same time. So I connected up the uh, third oil pipe uh, to the uh, refineries up there. And I connected them through here. I have a pump there, as you can see. And the pipeline goes in here. Um, I know it's inside the foundation, but you can't see that from the outside, so it's fine. Also have a pump up here. And... Let's close that up again. Since I didn't want to uh, mess with uh, the... Um, recycled rubber and the uh, ratios and all that and we just need a little bit of rubber i have six of these uh, refineries currently and those are producing a total of 120 rubber which i uh, i have some uh, pretty funky pipes here but these pipes are, of course, taking the heavy oil residue and it's taking it down to those refineries. And those refineries are making um, heavy oil residue. No, they're making petroleum coke. And the petroleum coke I'm just uh, shuffling off into the uh, awesome sink. Oh, I forgot to clean up here. There we go. The petroleum coke comes into the belt there and then is transported further over to this awesome sink here which currently is quite inactive since i'm not using much rubber at all but this is going to get quite active uh, very soon okay so there you go this is the uh, latest addition to the refinery the refinery is now getting rather ridiculous in size it's um, i think it's bigger than the main base in terms of both buildings and uh, how much stuff is going on out here our power situation should be uh, quite comfortable resting at somewhere between 1500 and 2000 that's about to change, though, when we start connecting up the uh, manufacturing uh, facilities that we are going to connect up now. But the goal of this episode is to make at least radio control units and uh, supercomputers. And if there's time, I also want to create the final part that we need uh, in our regular base, which is the turbo motors, but I'm not sure if there will be time for that. We might have to postpone that to the next episode. I've done all of the groundwork. There was uh, an ample supply of belts to connect up, and you can see some of the remnants here with the uh, splitter towers that I'm using to get the stuff off. And then I'm using lifts to get things up and down um, so that I get them on the correct uh, belt height. I've also prepared, but I haven't done the, the work underneath the base, but I've prepared it so that these three manufacturers, this one is supposed to make the uh, turbo motors, and they are ready to take things down. Okay, let's start connecting things up. First and foremost, we have the crystal oscillators. 
and I don't think... No, I don't think it's... Uh, I think this is the, uh, the full length of it. Uh, you might notice this interesting contraption up here. That's the heat sinks. Okay, so the crystal oscillators go into this side. 2.5 per minute. So let's um, connect those up. And also we need... I, I think I will wait with the lifts until I'm done. Now the rubber goes in... Sorry. I think that's plastic. Yes, the plastic goes in here. And this is going to make a little uh, bizarre thing in my regular routine. So we don't want a merger, we want a splitter. And we want to connect that up to this and then connect it to that. Um, we need one, two, three, four, five more. So one, two, three. Three, four, five. Uh, the next product is rubber. I don't think this one needs rubber. No, it doesn't. But this one does. So let's place down splitters for rubber. And that should be on height six. And then we can connect that one, but I think that needs to be a Mark III belt. Uh, let's connect that up. The next product is computers. Now, I don't know if both sides require computers. Yes, both sides require computers. So... Uh, I'm, I've complicated things for myself by uh, doing this, so the rubber AI limiters, high speed connectors well this one needs crystal oscillators and heat sinks so the next thing this need is AI limiters is on the level above computers which means that we have to add one, two, three, four, five, six. I believe that one should be the AI limiters that doesn't look entirely correct Hold on just a second here. Ah. Okay, well, um... Can I even connect that? I wonder. I need to fix that. But I think I'll fix that while pausing the recording because I don't want to spend time on that. Of course, that is too far. Ah, sigh. Okay, I will just pause the recording while I uh, <clears throat> fix this. So, be right back. There we go. Now it has been fixed, so I get the correct angle on that turn. And I'm really complicating things for me quite extensively by uh, having these uh, back to back. Um, the next thing on the belt after the computers... And the computers also need to go to this one. So, I have rubber, crystal oscillators, and computers coming into this already. The next one here, the heat sinks. Okay, so which angle is the computers coming in on? It's coming in on that one. 
So we need to have splitters all the way up there and continue that belt. And there goes the computers. And then we have the AI limiters. Do these go to... No, those do not go to that one. Those goes to this one. And we have rubber. We have plastic. And we have computers. Plastic is there. Computers is there. So that means that we need to add a splitter there. Like so for the AI connectors. Uh, the next one is the high speed connectors. I also believe that that is on only going to this one. Um, that one is computers. So that means we have to add one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Actually, nine. Then we need to connect that up to that one. This is going to look very funky when I'm done with it. And then finally, we have the heat sinks. And those, I believe, goes into this one. And to get those into that one, that's computers. We need to add a splitter on top of that one. So how many splitters is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 1, 2, 3... I'm out of iron plates. Okay, well, um... There is a quick solution to that. Which involves standing here and doing a massive deconstruction rampage like that. There we go. I don't dare deconstruct these until I'm actually done with this thing. So, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that one should connect straight to that one. And this should connect into that one. Ooh. Right. Now, let's connect up this one first. We have the... This one doesn't require crystal oscillators, but it does require plastic. So that would be this one. And we can deconstruct these three. On this side, we want the crystal oscillators. We can leave that so we have the walk path. The next thing we want to have here is not rubber but computers now the computers are sheesh they are on level they're on level seven so one two three four five six seven So we should see computers coming down here, I hope. No. Well, that's not right. Okay, um... <clears throat> Can I? Get up on top of this thing, please. 
Thank you. Why didn't that work? Right, that's why it didn't work. So the computer should be on this one. Right, that, that explains it all. Geesh, this is really complicating things. That's the computers. And then we have the high-speed connectors, which should then be on... Looks like AI limiters. And we need the AI limiters, so that should be on this one. And finally, the high-speed connector should be on that one. Can't afford. Okay, well... Time to get rid of some more splitters then. I probably need to go pick up more iron plates because this is intolerable. There we go. And there we have the high-speed connector. So, okay, so all of the products that is required for the supercomputers are now done. And I really need to go pick up iron plates because that's just not an ideal situation whatsoever. I do have the hypertube here, though. No, I don't think that we're going to be able to make the uh, turbo motors in this episode. Huh. So much finagling. Uh, let's grab eight stacks of these. No, nine. So that I'm sure that I have enough. I sh the auto saves are so slow. Ah, there we go. I don't need concrete, but I could use a couple more stacks of um, rods. Concrete we're fine on. Why am I running when I can just jump up here? I'll probably make more of these uh, interfactory uh, hypertubes. They are quite useful. I would make them underneath the base, but um, there's not really much room for that down there, considering everything that's going on down there. And it's not going to get any easier now. So on this side, uh, we need, first and foremost, crystal oscillators. And they can be brought in like this. Uh, the next thing we need is rubber. I believe that I can remove this one, this one, and this one, which also means I can remove all of these. This is going to be the very tricky part, not removing the wrong things. So that one's plastic, which means I can remove... Which of these are the plastic? The first one. I can remove that one, that one, and that one as well. That helps. Which means that that one should be rubber. I can take a lift down with the rubber. Good. And since we are taking down the rubber, we can remove those two. That one is computers. We can take those down as well. And then we can remove all of these. hate it when that happens. 
I don't even know how to get up there. I don't see why it does happen either. It doesn't make sense why that happens. My inventory is fine. I have plenty of room for those. Okay. So, then... Can... Careful now. Move these. Good. And then we can bring down the heat sinks. There we go. Then we do the same thing here. Crystal oscillators. Remove the extraneous... Splitters, and uh, then we have the rubber. And then we get the computers and finally the heat sinks. Another question is, are there any additional... No, there is a ladder behind there. wondering that one's taking down the rubber I think that one is extraneous correct both of those are necessary so there we go now where's the power connection on this thing I expect it's on it is not on the front Maybe it's on this side. There it is. So we should put some power poles. One here and one here. And then one here. That one should probably be a Mark II power pole. Well, that's... Oh, I haven't put up the power pole there yet. Okay. So then connect up these power poles to one another. I might just as well put down the correct power pole for this right away so that I don't have to uh, mess with uh, setting it up afterwards connected as well that one should also be a mark II pole they have added the uh, height difference again i'm not sure what i feel about that connect that up to power connect that one up to power and connect this one up to power and then that one and now we have all kinds of things going on so this should make a visible dent in our uh, power network. Maybe I didn't need that uh, fuel generator plant, but uh, to be perfectly honest, when everything starts producing things now, I think we're going to go above 3,000. Which was my former um, power threshold, I should add. Um, now, getting this down. This thing takes a while to produce super computer jump down here because I need to figure out how I want to get this 
it's supposed to be. Not sure if that is a good idea. But I don't see why I should use an additional either. Might just as well just use the the current existing one. Uh, it's on the yeah, grill. That's probably too close, I'm thinking. I did mean it, right? But grill sounds fun too. You can see I've already set up the basic facility here. Now I'm not sure if this is entirely correct. This is supercomputers, so that is not one of the products that I'm going to wear further out. Not that it really matters. Set up things in all to function correctly. Okay, now let's build a veil lift going down here. I think that's the correct height. Yes, it is. I have no idea how I managed to do that. Sometimes this game surprises me. That was one of the times. Can remove this one. As a matter of fact, we can remove that one as well. We'll make a correct turn here. Okay, so we have supercomputers coming down here. That's going to be a very slow and steady process. Take quite some time. So, with the supercomputers coming down there, let's see, Shoot. Um, just not on the grate, just on the side of the grate. So, it should actually be in line with this one. Well, that's good. It's going to be uh, quite useful. I just want to make sure that I'm doing this correctly. So it should be here. It should also be on height level 3, I think. So... Is really don't like pulling down lifts. It's always very complicated, but I think I got it correct there. It helps when it's not on, say, I-10. Of course, that one is not entirely correct because it's uh, crooked. Can't allow it to be crooked heresy something. I think that should work. Yep. Can connect it up. There we go. And then finally we'll have the uh, turbo motors. I think I want to connect them up right away so that we don't run into any problems with that later on. Ah, yes, there's here. Could just do that, but that heresy too. Um, so 
on this angle. One, two, three, four. Okay, so that was too long. So I need to not have that visible. Okay, let's try on this. Okay, that doesn't work either. This is what I don't enjoy about putting down lifts. Is rather... There we go. Rather tricky to get it at the correct angle. And now I have all three of the uh, below base products coming in. And then I'm just curious. I mean, I think there would be something coming down that prison, but I don't know why. Yeah, forgot a rather important step up there, which is of course connecting up the uh, manufacturers to. Um, the mergers. Let's go do that. That'll help. So, this one connects to that, that one connects to this, and this one connects to that. And here we have radio control units. They look rather interesting. Good. Get down here again and um, go up here. Seriously, are they actually that slow? Or is there something wrong up there? Let me just quickly pause while I go back up there to have a check. So, as uh, some of you probably noticed back when I uh, said that, oh, that is extraneous, uh, it wasn't. Uh, I removed the, uh, the splitter that was responsible for uh, sending down the high-speed connectors. Which, of course, is not very helpful when you want this thing to be producing supercomputers. So now we have connected it up again, and... Oh. Okay. We can go back down and do what we were supposed to do. First and foremost, let's connect up this belt here. I'm actually quite pleased that uh, this didn't turn out a catastrophe. Because I did expect it to turn out a catastrophe. I didn't expect to be able to uh, get all the products underneath the base. And I fully expected having to uh, make some very creative decisions on uh, how to connect these belts underneath everything. Thankfully that did not turn into an issue. Now we can start veering them off towards their correct windows. Let's make a little bit of a distance between them. Like 
so. I don't think we need to have a turn on it. It'd be fine. This one, a little turn. And finally, the supercomputers probably also wants a little turn. And then we can uh, build air poles appropriately built for the windows here. And we connect this one to that one. And we have the autosave. That probably takes about seven ish seconds now. Here we go. Up the belts to, to the windows like that. Then we need to make sure that we connect up the lifts properly. It's one. It's two. Can't see the final one. That's three. Now it's just a matter of... I think that's too close. Oh, it actually works. Then we have the final one here. This one should connect directly, I believe. Yep. Here we go. Heatings in this one. That one won't accept anything yet because that is the uh, turbo motors and this one should accept the supercomputers they will not arrive for a little while here's the radio control units coming in and there's the supercomputers coming I'm not sure why I've bothered putting that there Yes, we can for looks just uh, kill those right this one is the one that doesn't accept anything yet so this one should it's the radio control units where did the supercomputers go can't just have vanished. I'm pretty sure I didn't pick them up. Should be in here. I am absolutely positive that I didn't pick them up. Let's see what happens with this thing. They are not going to be coming in very often, that's for sure. Something must have gone awry here. Sheesh, the Mark 1 belts are so slow. Okay, so there it comes.
I must have picked them up then. No. This thing is eating them. Oh. <clears throat> um. Um, never mind, never mind. They were sent up with the uh, elevator. Put them back inside. This rather impressive splitter tower can also be removed now. And we have to wait for the autosave, of course. Really should turn that to 10 minutes when I'm recording. I keep forgetting. Okay, now to get that uh, lift. It's rather difficult to get it at the right angle. I think that's the one. No, that is not the one. Now I sound like Sathras from Babylon 5. Okay, so there, one, two, I suspect that one of those is not correct, but it's definitely that one that wasn't correctly aligned. Uh, there is a drawback to having this uh, system I use here, there. There we go. Now it's correct. How are you going with this? Okay. Don't know why I've bothered placing lift for the supercomputers because there is nothing that I'm aware of that requires the supercomputers super except for my personal use. Uh, now the radio control units on the other hand those are necessary so those I need to belt out but I don't think the supercomputers are necessary to belt out so maybe we'll just remove that all that struggle for removing it again so the radio control units we need to belt those down to the um, turbo motor facility which is here uh, now the turbo motors that one requires uh, motors uh, rubber heat sinks and radio control units I'm not entirely sure to do with the uh, radio control units they are on I mean the heat sinks they are on level 10 of the splitters so I think it should be fine to just do a merger on the other side there and no a splitter and just send them over uh, the rubber we already have that here I think it's on this one, yes, so that's fine. Motors we have to take out from over there. And the final part, the radio control units, we need to take out from that one. Them all over there. This is going to be an interesting process as well. Yeah, there we go. We have definitely crossed the threshold of uh, 3000 megawatts. So I'm glad I built the fuel generators. I wonder if connecting up this will push us up towards 5,000, but um, I can always extend it if necessary. I mean, I have plenty of fuel left, or rather crude oil, so I can make more generators. Uh, and there is ample water, strangely enough, since we're by the uh, ocean itself. So that should be easy enough. But for now, I think that this is a good time to end this episode. I got what I uh, intended to do with the episode, so uh, all that's left now is all the finigly uh, stuff with uh, getting up the uh, splitter towers and making sure that I get the things on the correct levels and uh, do those kinds of measurements. 
But that'll have to wait until the next episode because that's going to take quite some time. And we're already at 45 minutes anyway, so... As always, feel free to leave comments and questions in the commentary section. And thank you so much for joining me. And I will see you all in the next episode.